Hi everybody, I'm here today to do a quick review on some really adorable fan plus friend accessories. I don't really see a lot of people posting them or wearing them in outfit coordinates or daily Lolita or anything like that. Then again, I haven't really followed the site in a while, but um, I thought I haven't really seen a lot of reviews out there and I haven't seen a lot of people wearing them, so I may as well review the few that I got that my friend bought for me. So I moved recently from Long Island to Rochester and my friend got me a few accessories for going away and then I found a really cute one that I had to get for myself because it was just adorable. So I thought I would review them since I've got them all and I've broken them in a little bit. So to start with, I picked out the really adorable Alice Embroidery Beret. It actually is 100% wool according to the tag, which I'm excited for because I love wool winter accessories. They are always the warmest and they are usually the most durable. Now, it's cut exactly like a traditional braid. It's got a small band on the inside, folded over, and it's got this really adorable embroidery on the top in metallic gold thread. I got the white and gold colorway, as you can see, but they had it in a ton of different colors, black and silver, black and red. I remember there was a blue on there, so they're, you know, they have everyone you need to match your wardrobe. So it's got the embroidery on it, which is a rabbit sitting in a cage, plus it's got cards, snowflakes, stars, the fan plus friend words are here, and a couple other different cute things that fit the Lolita and Alice aesthetic. And then it's got this nice gold see-through metallic bow, and this really, really cute little key, which is what really hooked me when I saw it the first time. So I've already worn this one once, and it was really nice and warm. There's like four inches of snow on the ground outside my window, so it's been pretty cold here, and this was really nice, kept my head warm. So if you're looking for warm, durable Lolita accessories, I would definitely recommend this one. It also came with a few, here we go, hair combs, so like small clips to secure combs that I suppose you probably sew into the bray and have them attached to your head securely. Um, I would probably not use them because it did stick to my head really well as it was, but it was nice that they threw them in in case, you know, you have slippery hair or a small head or something. Alright, so my friend also got a beret for me and this one does not actually have a tag in it and on the website I believe it said felted cotton you know it wasn't um, 100% wool and as you might be able to see it's already I've worn it a couple times and since it is a felted material it's gotten like super super fuzzy really quickly but it does have you know the cute little beret stem that you usually see on traditional kind of French berets and it also has two little ribbon bows with the silver pearl detail. This is the dark blue colorway because their navy colorway was actually a very royal blue which wouldn't fit with any of the navy dresses that I own. And this one actually does look really good. It's pretty darn close to the Baby the Starshine Bright Princess Frill JFK in navy color. And the ribbons are actually pretty much the same color as the ribbons they use on there. So it, it matched. It worked out well. And the pearls are actually silver instead of white, which I thought was a cute kind of different thing that they could do. So I did notice that the ribbons on here are not actually sealed, so they kind of are going crazy and fraying. It can be fixed really simply by just throwing a little bit of clear nail polish on the edges, so I'll probably do that. But I did take off a couple points for the fact that the ribbons are not finished on this one, though on everything else they appeared to be. Next we also have... I forget what this one's called, but I'll post links to everything when I do this. And it is this cute little ribbon corsage that comes with an alligator clip and a pin on the back. So on the front, it's got three really beautiful, like, velvety, stiff black roses. And they are actually really good looking. Then it's got the nice royal blue navy sort of ribbon. A really pretty little kind of lace around the edge, which is just peeking out. You can't see it too strongly, which is why I think it's a nice detail. And I didn't actually see this in the original stock photos, but it's got a little doubled gold chain with one of the crystals hanging off of it, like some of their other accessories, that you can kind of just manipulate. So if you want it to hang here, it will, or you can drag it around this way. And it's really gorgeous. I think it's a nice little bit of bling that didn't show up very clearly on the website, or I just forgot and didn't notice. Not sure which. I did also take off a couple points because the ribbon is really crumpled and I'm not sure how to fix it. I mean, I don't know, can you iron ribbon? But these ones are burned to seal, so obviously these aren't going to fray. I'm glad they did that. And it's all hooked up to a nice, thick disc 
of stiff navy fabric. This one also had a couple different colors. I think there was one with red and white, red and black, which again, you know, fits into a lot of different pieces in your wardrobe. And I do like the fact that it's got the little pin back. So you can just hook it onto your blouse if you want to have a nice little corsage detail. Make a little bit of OTT gothic, if you will. And last but not least, this is actually my favorite, clearly why I have it attached to my head right now. It is another long rose corsage with this really beautiful veil on it. And this one is just a hair accessory. As you can see, it's got the comb back. But it also has a nice little... Actually, it looks like a jacquard or brocade disc, which is what the comb is stuck down to. Nice kind of silky, stiff, again, fabric. So this one has just two of the really nice velvety roses, but again, they're stiff. They look like roses. They're much better than anything I can go get at Joann's and try to make hair accessories out of. Uh, then, as you can see, it's got the silver chain with the nice crystals hanging off again, which, I again, I love as a little detail because... It's something a little opulent while still not being so over the top that you can't wear it with anything. And the lace that's attached to the back is really nice. It's embroidered net lace like you would see in Angelic Pretty. And it's got, I know it's hard to see, but there's little fleur de lis right here, as well as scalloped flowers and then the nice scalloped edge. It also has a nice thick satiny ribbon here. Again, finished edges, thank goodness. But the bow tails are kind of stuffed underneath the roses, so you can't really see them. But I like the little just sticking out detail anyway. And the lace on the bottom of the veil is again really nice stuff that I can't get access to which frustrates me because I like pretty things and you know this is pretty. And as you can see it's really sparkly in the veil which again I think is kind of cute. Goes with any little silver touch you might have. And as I said it just slides really easily right into your hair and stays there. Like I'm shaking and it's not going anywhere. So all together, it works in a really nice, elegant, gothic coordinate. If you wanted to go like crazy OTT classic with dark colors and added some black, this would be, I think, a good thing to go with. I do remember them having a couple different colors on the site, but not as many as either the berets or even this one. They all came with some version of the Sam Plus Friends tag, which is actually a really nice stiff cardboard. On the front, it's got this cute little airmail sort of stamp that says Sam Plus Friend Handmade Original Item and on the back it says thank you your personal tailor at SamPlusFriend.com which again you know as brand tags go or as indie brand tags go this is actually kind of cute and nice some places just have a you know rectangular piece of paper with their logo on it which can be kind of boring this might be one I would actually you know do something with and to top it off they actually sent all of the accessories in, uh, you know, I got an EMS DHL bag, but they also sent this great little tote bag. I'm just disappointed it's brown because I have nothing else in my wardrobe at all that is A, brown, or B, this specific shade of, like, mocha coffee brown. But it's got this really nice Sam Plus Friends logo on the front. These are all roses, a crown. And if you look closely, actually, the top is stamped with these little roses in the scalloping. And it's just a nice little drawstring tote bag. I mean, for carrying around things like if you're going shopping or whatever and just need to throw some stuff in a bag, or if you have something that matches this color. I mean, I don't know if they send other colors for gifts or if it just happened to be I got brown. Don't know. Um, but I mean, I think it would be really good just to toss some stuff, or if you just need a little extra tote bag when you're going out on a meetup and it happens to match your coordinate, then I say by all means, go for it. It's a sturdy kind of it's not canvas. I can't really explain it, but it's not like plasticky, but it's fabricy. I can't explain what this is. I think I have a big Starshine Bright, you know, tote made out of the same thing my Lucky Pack bag came in. I don't know. It's just, it feels sturdy, which means that it could stand up to some solid abuse. The straps are very securely attached, so I don't really expect this to fall apart anytime soon. But again, it's brown. I probably won't be able to use it. All in all though, I really am actually excited they threw some cute little thing in with their stuff. And again, I would give all of these pieces a 4.7 out of 5, I'm sorry, 4.75 out of 5 for the super fuzziness of the beret and the I can't believe they didn't steal the edges of this ribbon. But all in all, everything is really adorable. I hope it stands up to the test of time. I plan on wearing all of these pieces quite a bit since I finally 
made my wardrobe cohesive and navy is the main color and black. So all in all, I'm really excited about these pieces and I hope to see some more people wearing Sam Plus Fun accessories. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.